use of escitalopram had a significant impact on how depressed individuals reacted to fearful faces, according to early data from an imaging study. It's very important to understand how antidepressant drugs uh, work. So we know that they work, but there is one very puzzling effect of their action. There is quite a big delay of, for often a few weeks between first administration of antidepressants and when they exert clinical influence on mood, when mood gets improved. Uh, and there are a lot of theories that focus on biological factors such as BDNF and PrEP and changes in expression of genes. Uh, that try to explain this delay. What we came up with is that maybe there are some psychological factors that first need to change and only then improvement in mood can follow. So we try to incorporate both biological and psychological theories to explain how antidepressants work. Could you describe your key finding? So the key finding would be that um, what changes first is actually is the reactivity of the structure that is called amygdala. And the structure is very important in the processing of emotional information uh, because it reacts in a very automatic, unconscious way to especially threat-related uh, information, to emotional information. And the structure seems to be hyperactive in depression. So we applied, uh, we recruited a group of depressed volunteers and healthy volunteers. And depressed volunteers either received placebo or acetalopram, which is a selective SSRI uh, medication, very often used, uh, frequently used uh, antidepressant. And we compared those groups and we could see that activity, hyperactivity of amygdala goes down after seven days of treatment comparing the group of people who received drugs and placebo. And uh, the group that received active compound, citalopram, actually reactivity of amygdala in response to fearful faces didn't differ from healthy volunteers. And all of this happened in the change of any significant, uh, well, any significant change in mood. Uh, so this is quite important because we could see that the reactivity of the structure that is the key structure in processing emotionally salient information, which may be responsible for biases in perception of the word in depression, changes before changes in what happen. So it may give us an answer, what, an answer what has to change first, that first biases change and only then improvement in mood follows, which is quite different to what people think now, because now they think that improvement in mood is the first stage and only then the biases change. So I would say this is the key finding here. What are the clinical implications and next steps for research? Uh, well, definitely we would like to see uh, whether what happens in the early days of the treatment can predict what can happen uh, in the treatment of depression. So whether change in amygdala reactivity can really predict what happens after a few weeks. So in turn, we could, after a few days, we could decide whether people should receive this particular medication or not. So this is what we hope to do in the next study. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Sleep.